All right, let's play a little bit of a game here. Imagine you're shooting a film or video and you have a choice to make between really good video quality and really good audio quality. Which do you choose? You'd be surprised how many people actually choose really good video and how this could probably be to their detriment. And we're gonna show you two examples. The first, really good audio but really terrible video. So you can see with really terrible video how you can follow what I'm saying, how you can get into the story um, despite the fact that the image has been degraded. Directors will use this creatively, like the Blair Witch Project, which is like an hour and a half of really terrible video, but the audio is so good, you can follow the story. Things change drastically when we switch that around. Suddenly, with really bad audio, it's hard to take what I'm doing seriously. It's hard to take this whole video seriously. And to get through something like this that's even five minutes is painful. This might work maybe with action cams if the content is really good, like a skydiver. We kind of forgive that for a second. But for an actual film content, you can't pull this off. It's terrible and it's unwatchable. And it's only unwatchable because the audio is terrible. So I'm going to switch things back for the benefit of all of us. You can see how having good video and good audio is so super important. But if you had to choose, you shouldn't have to choose, but if you had to, Maybe good audio is what you should be choosing.